G'day viewers, I've got a, uh, a viewer request video for you today. When I did the scrapping of the scales and I thought that I had pulled out some zinc, I told I was going to make some zinc powder and then several uh, viewers asked if, that, if I could do a video of it. So today I will be. Um, it turns out there wasn't any zinc in the scales but I've sourced some elsewhere I already tried with one of these which is a regulator from a barbecue and so far I have that metal there which is nice and clean pure zinc and a small amount of powder that I've already made so far now so I, I some of it powdered up nicely and some of it was there that just did, didn't want to powder up so you end up with some pure metal which is fine to put in solution like that and you'll end up with some powder and I also ended up with some slag which is all the impurities and I just put that in my stock pot so I made use of the whole lot now these can be rather hard to pull apart try and get this bit of metal off here and the brass on that end and inside there's metal as well sure you could angle grind them or whatever but uh, I just put the whole thing in there and it all melts away and then I pick the metal out bit of, bit of hosing there I might even try and get rid of that because otherwise it burns in the pot and leaves a stain on the pot but this brass I'll be able to separate afterwards when it all just melts I'll take that rubber seal off and there'll be metal in there and I think there's a, a diaphragm in there um, all this will just melt and then you'll be able to single it out so, uh, I've also got this piece here now you can tell when zinc inside see if I can get it to focus it's all crystal like it, it takes on a t totally different form to cast aluminium so I believe this to be zinc um, because I've, I've tested quite a few pieces the only way you can really test it is to burn it with a torch or put it in the stove um, in the heat thing um, it melts very very easily when it, if it's zinc if you put something in a pot and turn it on and you leave it for a while and nothing happens then it's likely to be cast aluminium and so I've tested quite a few pieces that I thought might have been zinc nothing's happened so I'm gonna I know that that is zinc I'm pretty sure that's zinc so I'm gonna test that I'm gonna put that in the pot put it on heat and see if it melts I've had it on heat now for three or four minutes and I even hit it with the mat gas torch so far nothing's happened so I believe I was wrong it's probably not zinc zinc would have definitely melted by now but just in case it's got other metals mixed in with it um, to make it a bit harder I'll leave it on for a while and see so uh, it's hard to go by the structure inside even though I showed you how it usually looks very crystally um, because they could have other, other alloys mixed with it uh, I think there's a thing called pot metal and that's where they mix zinc with aluminium or um, other things to make and make it stronger uh, I'm not really a full book on it uh, so it's just a matter of trying different things and see what melts and what doesn't whether we get zinc powder or zinc metal like that doesn't matter the main aim is to just to get the pure zinc uh, because you can put things like this in the, in the solution and it will drop the, the precious metals or you can put the powder in makes no difference um, so just give that a bit longer and see what happens and then I'll try this because I know this is going to work and I see these on barbecues put out on the verge all the time for someone to get rid of so uh, I'll be collecting these in future uh, I've seen a few videos online 
claiming what different things are made of zinc and it's not entirely true I've watched so many videos and I've picked up the things that they claim to be zinc and so far they're not so I'm not going to really put too much faith in the videos out there uh, I'm just going to have to try things myself all I know is that pure zinc would have melted long before now uh, nevertheless I'll give it a little bit longer and see okay so as you can see it's uh, pouring quite nicely molten molten metal so now it's just a matter of letting it all burn uh, letting it all melt so this top half has, has to melt yet um, I can separate that brass now I'll take that out and let the rest of this melt there'll be uh, a disc in there there should be a spring in there a few other bits of metal there's the spring that I told you about the metal disc and the brass piece on the end there's another piece of brass still in here because it had a little bit of uh, zinc stuck to it so let's see if that's free now off a little tiny bit there that's all right so now there should be a washer in there but I can't find it what I want to do is I want to get all of this stuff here to one side all the rubbish is right to one side is now oh there's a bit more the hope is now that I can pour all the molten zinc down like that and get all the rubbish away from it so now I'm going to turn it off and let it cool down so I can pick out all that rubbish and there will still be a little bit in there you can see little bits in there but most of it as you can see is all nice clean zinc um, I'm going to scoop out all that rubbish that goes in my stock pot anything that can dissolve in the liquids is great it will help drop precious metals and anything that doesn't will be refined out later um, so I'll get that out and then we'll be dealing with nice clean zinc and then I'll go to the next step from there so I'll turn this off for now and let it cool down and I'll come back when it's done So what I've done is I've picked out a lot of the rubbish. Now, yes, there is still some zinc here, but there's bits of rubbish stuck amongst it. And I don't want any of this getting in with the powder. I want to know that the powder I've got is nice and pure. Um, I've got this nice big piece of zinc here, and then some other pieces that were coming off it. They broke off when I was pulling the rubbish out. So now this can all go back in and get melted then we can start making the powder so I'll put this back on the heat now and melt it ok so you can see it's molten and you're wondering how we're going to do get, how we're going to make this into powder the thing is every metal has a weakness and zinc's weakness is just before boiling point it actually fractures so whether you get it on the way up to boiling point or once it's boiled and then you're cooling it down the idea is to violently shake the pot side to side and it actually shack, it fractures into powder. Some of it will, some of it won't. And obviously you're not going to want molten uh, metal all over me so I'm going to put the lid on. I need to hold the lid on tight, at least for the first few bits. 
and then I'll be able to take the lid off and show you what's happening. So I put the lid on, and I want to violently shake it. It's pretty hard to do. Side to side, whichever way you want to do it. It takes a while, so it's a bit hard on the arms. Yeah, some of it's going up to the lid now and it's cooled and it's holding stop the lid coming off. And it's starting to fracture. Okay, so that first effort was a fail. It started to fracture, you can see that it's all rough. But this is a really hard process to do. You've got to be super violent with it. If you're not, it just moves around in the pot. You've got to really, really shake it vigorously. So, uh, just a matter of melting it again and having another shot. Some of it's melted and some of it hasn't, so we'll try again. I'll go side to side this time. See if it's worked. It's uh, not an easy thing to do. Last time when I got some powder, I had about three or four attempts before it worked. I'm going to get a nice tight fitting lid, and unfortunately, this one's not. We'll see. Well, there you go. Some of it's gone powder, some of it's dried on the bottom. So now I'm just going to pour the powder out, and like that, there I'll be left with some metal as well. And if I kept melting this and kept shaking it, I'd be able to get some more. But I'm happy with that. So, uh, give it a shot guys and let me know how it works for you. Uh, I don't know if it's worth the effort really. I think just having the nice clean zinc will do the job fine. But I did say I'd show you how to do it. Um, if you can get a nice tight fitting lid, it'll be much better because you can be a lot more violent with it. Uh, it didn't work as well this time as the first time I did it, but you can see how it works. So uh, thanks for watching, I hope this has helped for some people. I'm keen to see what you guys think of it, um, your results if you try it. I'll see you on the next video, thank you.